I just got home from the Global Gala and it was pouring outside. If you can't tell, my clothes are soaked. It was so much fun though. I will fill in later on what I thought about it. How about Spain? Woo! So we're split between France and Spain. It's, the answer is actually France. And so marrying a dead person has been legal since Napoleon was a thing. And since I went to the um, 2018 Global Gala. It was a really great experience. Um, it was something I'd never done before, never honestly pictured myself doing. Um, but some of the groups that I saw were the A-Rob Students Association, excuse my pronunciation, um, Live Yoga, Live Green, the Iranian Students and Scholars Association, Mariachi Los Amigos de ISU, and several others. Um, some realizations that I took away from this experience were um, that they're very accepting of um, outsiders or, I mean, I wouldn't say outsiders, but people that aren't um, in their organizations. They're, they were kind of there at this event, like recruiting, recruiting others. Um, yeah, and they were just super accepting to anyone that wanted to join, whether you were of that origin or not. Um, and they're super diverse, like uh, a few of the um, groups didn't have or they had members that weren't um, part of that culture and didn't speak the language. Like in the Miriachi um, group, they had um, just regular Caucasian like Americans in their group. And I don't know why, but this was kind of surprising to me, I guess. I kind of figured that um, they were just about recruiting their um, people that were of that origin, um, which I thought was super inclusive and um, really welcoming for me to, to go and watch. Some things I learned from attending the Global Gala um, were the importance of understanding other cultures and submerging yourself in them. Um, like I said, this was something that I had never planned on doing myself, um, but it made me realize that um, it's very important to understand other cultures so you can um, truly accept others. Um, and you're really, you can create a more inclusive environment when you um, understand and, and at least try to understand other cultures and other um, ways of thinking. Um, it also helps become a, a well-rounded individual, um, especially at um, a college age. Um, it's very important to um, develop these skills and um, submerge yourself in new experiences to become well-rounded before you get out into the work world. Um, cultural experiences uh, shape behavior and I found um, a journal article that kind of talks about um, how cultural awareness develops the skills um, of behavior analysis. Um, it's by Elizabeth Hughes and uh, about five other people. Um, it was written in, uh, it was published on February 4th, 2016. Um, it says, like it kind of begins with um, that all individuals are part of at least one culture. Um, and that one culture shapes your ways of thinking, who you are, um, and how you act from day to day. But um, they kind of went in and went and studied different individuals with different cultures. Um, they did a consideration of other cultural factors, preferences, norms, things like that. Um, and they presented strategies for understanding behavior analysis of personal cultural views and contingencies 
um, just of the people that they were studying. Um, they basically found their study was kind of sub subjective, and as I was saying before, um, they basically um, found that um, cultural differences always affect our work with individuals or groups, quote from their article. Therefore, it may be important for behavior analysis to continue to develop their cultural awareness skills by systemically ensuring ongoing training, experience, and supervision for cultural experience and awareness. I completely agree with this journal article. Um, I think that um, submerging yourself in new cultural experiences, um, undergoing training, um, and etc. is necessary at all levels of um, work or study. Um, you can never be too culturally aware. Um, things are ever changing and um, we kind of have to either get on the train or um, you're going to be left behind. So um, I just kind of approach this and many other cultural experiences with an open mind and just hope to um, learn as much as I can. And that's kind of how I went into the Global Gala and I think that's what really made it a great experience. Um, lastly, the answer to the question, um, how am I going to change my perceptions as a result of this new learning? Um, I think my perceptions have been changing ever since I came to college, but I'm going to um, take away from this experience um, to keep going into situations with an open mind, um, always be inclusive of others, and don't make judgments prior to going. Like I had already made a judgment before going that I was going to kind of stand out or not be as welcome because I wasn't um, from a different country or I didn't have like a necessarily like diverse culture. Um, so I kind of went in with this preset um, way of thinking and um, I'm going to try and change that perception of things and um, really try to create an inclusive environment, especially as a peer mentor, um, in my recitation as, um, and try to invite more um, culture in and just become um, more culturally aware and accepting of others.